When you think of some of the worst adaptations of video games of all time, what are some of the names that come to mind? Uh, Mortal Kombat, Defenders of the Realm, Street Fighter, The Legend of Chun-Li, uh, Double Dragon, the cartoon and the movie, uh, Resident Evil Apocalypse, Far Cry, Alone in the Dark, uh, Blood Rain. How about Pac-Man? Well, believe it or not, someone actually created a Pac-Man animated series. That means that someone, somewhere, looked at this... ...and said, hey, you know what this needs? Plot and setting and voice actors. Who in the hell would do something this stupid? Ah, of course. <laughs> I should have known. Yes, adaptations of video games sure jumped the shark pretty early, didn't they? I'll talk about the actual series another time, because since it's December, we're going to focus on the TV special, Christmas Comes to Pac-Land. That's right! Christmas and Pac-Man! It is about to get weird up in here. We open with Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man playing with their generally ambiguous child, Pac-Baby. Yes, apparently they can procreate, and I really don't want to know about the mating rituals of pack people. Then the ghosts, Clyde, Inky, Pinky, Dinky, and Sue show up, who still need to wear winter gear even though they're ghosts. Oh look! It's them pack creeps! Yeah, and now would be a perfect time to chomp them. Come to think of it, any time's a perfect time to chomp them. <laughs> it's not like we have anything better to do with our lives! Cause we're ghosts! I thought it was funny. So they have a quick chase. Hey look, it's like the game, sorta. Then they fend off the ghosts with snowballs. That's not fair! The only thing we got in the game were those cherries that didn't do anything. Then they take their LSD pills, which for reasons unknown give them the power to beat the ghosts by eating them. I have so many questions already. You know, it's not like I'm not familiar with the games, obviously. It's just seeing it in this context, it, it makes my head hurt. And we've only just gotten started. Hold on tight because it's about to get weirder. The ghost eyes fly off as they do in the games and they run into Santa Claus causing him to drop his bag of toys and crash his sleigh. I've never seen anything like it. Maybe it's a UFO. Yeah, and look at that weird alien with a hairy face and the red spacesuit. He's pear-shaped and not yellow. Clearly he's from another world. Are you okay? I think so. Where am I? You're in Pac-Land. Pac-Land? That's funny. I've been all over the world and I don't remember hearing of Pac-Land. Whoa! Even Santa Claus doesn't know what's going on. Oh god. I think we're in trouble. So they help out Santa, who doesn't seem phased by the inexplicable race of round people that came to his rescue. Who are you anyway? And what are you behind schedule for? You mean you really don't know? Why, I'm Santa Claus. And I'm late with my Christmas deliveries. Christmas? What's that? You've never heard of Christmas? We have no Christmas in Pac-Land. Our world is an abomination of nature, forgotten by God and all things holy. The citizens of Pac-Land agree to help rebuild Santa's sleigh, and Pac-Man goes out to look for the missing toys. I can't believe I'm explaining all of this. Meanwhile, the ghosts return to their hideout and put on new ghost skins. Okay. Then they try to come up with a plan to get Pac-Man, because again, there's apparently nothing else to do in Pac-Land besides engage in petty squabbles. I say we met him, like this! Hey! And then we can crunch him in chocolate sauce, like this! What? <laughs> and then we can chop all over him, like this! Yeah! Are we supposed to be afraid of these guys? So they head out and go after Pac-Man. Dashing through the snow. On the fifth we go. In a three ghost monsters sleigh. Chomping all the way. Ho, ho, ho. 
Why are they singing Christmas carols if no one in Pac-Land knows what Christmas is? This Pac-Man Christmas special is starting to not make sense. While they're out, they come across the lost sack of toys. Ha <laughs> ha! We struck it rich! My god, what a sad existence we lead. Pac-Man shows up and tries to figure out a way to get the toys back. We gotta figure a way to get it back. Oh, great idea, Chum Chum. So we've established not only can Pac-Man understand dogs, he's also getting advice from them. You know, at this point I'm half convinced that this special doesn't really exist and it's just a hallucination I had from being sick earlier in the week. So while the ghosts are fighting over their game game, Pac-Man digs his way over there. And time for another chase. God damn it, stop trying to be like the game! Chomp Chomp gets the toys and the ghosts catch up to Pac-Man. Pac-Man, no! Oh god, did, did, wait, what? We'll be seeing ya, uh, punk. what? What the hell just happened? In the games, Pac-Man dies when the ghosts get him. What the hell did they just do here? They said they're gonna chomp him, but they don't appear to have teeth. So what did they just do? Motorboat him? <laughs> then they leave because their work is done. And whatever they did to Pac-Man is his one weakness as he attempts to return with the toys. Back at the house, Miss Pac-Man is looking after the reindeer. Well, your temperature's okay, Rudolph, but your warning light's still flickering. I don't even know how to respond to that. Let's just keep moving. Pac-Man returns, but it appears to be too late. It's just too late. Oh. Oh. This is the first Christmas I've missed in all of history. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that's one of the saddest things I've ever seen. That's it. We can still save Christmas. Santa, get your sleigh and reindeer and follow me. Ah, come on, it's a Christmas special. You knew they were going to pull some last-minute bullshit to make everything right. They head off to their Christmas cliché when they're stopped by the ghosts. Fortunately, despite never hearing of Christmas, Pac-Man delivers a Christmas speech that convinces the ghosts to let them go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what a bunch of humbugs. Oh, give the guy a break, Clyde. Yeah. <laughs> Think of all the little kids, Clyde. And the big kids, too, Clyde. So I guess they're not bad guys? I don't know anymore. Let's just wrap this up. They take Santa to the forest where they grow their drugs, I mean power pellets, and feed them to the reindeer, allowing them to finish their trip around the world. Finally, back at their house, Santa's left them all gifts, and hey, even the ghosts get some. Ah, Christmas, bringing everyone together. In the most what the fuck way possible! Man, this is one of the strangest Christmas specials I've ever seen. And I've sat through the He-Man Shearer Christmas, the Brave Star Christmas, and Kiss Save Santa! Someone stole Santa? That does not rock! Easy, Gene. Yeah, yeah, I know that one doesn't really exist, but... For the love of God, somebody make that already! But despite its level of weirdness, this one's pretty harmless, and in its own special way, it does have that Christmas spirit. We'll let it slide. For now. Well, that's all for now. I hope you have a happy whatever it is your denomination celebrates. I just say happy holidays, but these days you're not allowed to do that anymore. But you know, I'm sure we could find some way we can all compromise. It's okay if you're a Muslim, a Christian, or a Jew. It's okay if you're agnostic and you don't know what to do. An all-inclusive celebration. No contractual obligation. Happy Christmas, Kwanzaa, to you. And pagans, too.